Good afternoon and welcome to The Attic. A slightly different video this time. It's going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, I've not been posting over the last week or so because I just got back from traveling. I was on the road for a month. You might have seen my last video was uh, recorded in a different attic. We are back home. The cat is in place and I want to talk about some of the images that I've been shooting over the last couple of weeks. So each year I'm invited to Gelo Isroitoyskola, which is a folk school uh, in Denmark, in the middle of nowhere. And I drove there and spent a week photographing, lecturing and teaching some climbing at what is called the International Gathering, which is where about 120, 140 people come together to train parkour, climbing, dance and uh, different movement disciplines over the course of a week. And one of the new additions for this year was the opportunity to head out to the coast, about 20 minute drive, and take advantage of a new facility that Denmark has just built. And this sort of thing only seems to happen in Denmark, in my experience. So basically there is this old harbour and they've converted it into a place for wakeboarding. There's a little bit of sand that they've put down, so it's kind of a beach and there's fire pits and a barbecue thing. And in addition, They've stacked up three old shipping containers that they painted bright yellow and put a series of stairwells inside the shipping containers. So if you're jumping from the harbour wall, it's four metres, about four yards. If you're jumping from the first container, you're jumping from seven metres. So what's that, 21 feet, something like that. And then if you go up into the third container, you are jumping from 11 metres which is, yeah, 33 feet. And then if you climb on top of the final container, you're jumping from 14 meters. So yeah, almost 45 feet, uh, which is pretty high. I didn't quite muster the the courage to, to do any big jumps myself. I managed the harbor wall a load of times. I'm not good with heights, not good with water. Uh, actually, I'm good with heights, just not very good with jumping from them, basically. Climbing, not too bad. Jumping from heights, not that great. Uh, but yeah, I was quite proud. I managed to uh, push myself a little bit. And I think next year, if and when I go back, I'll be able to do seven meters uh, without too many problems. It was a really fun experience. I mean, the weather was touch and go the first part of the week, but pretty much as we arrived at the harbor, the weather cleared out, the skies were full of clouds. And we were there for an hour, hour and a half in and out of the water. So the wetsuits kind of keep the breeze off you a little bit and uh, add a little bit of uh, warmth in some pretty, uh, yeah, tricky condition. You don't need much of a breeze to be standing around for too long before you start to get really cold. This was an opportunity to make use of a lens that I was sent by Venus Optics ages ago. I'm feeling really guilty for not having reviewed this lens already. I was supposed to review it pretty much yeah, in spring and it's now the end of summer and I still haven't done it. But it is this lens here. Come on autofocus, there we go. This is the Lauer 14mm F40D uh, for Sony and it is a completely mechanical lens. There are no, there are no contacts. It is, uh, it's only got five apertures. You've got F4 through to F22 and of course it's manual focus as well. And it's tiny and it's only $550, I think. And I'm going to do a full review on it uh, in a future video and for a future article. And I've had a lot of fun with this lens, uh, especially at this week at the International Gathering. And especially because it gave me a chance to shoot something quite distinctive, quite different uh, and really emphasise the height of these shipping containers that people were jumping from. I spend a lot of time working with elite athletes or have spent a lot of time working with you know, really high level athletes and watching them jump and dive from the various containers was pretty awesome. I mean, it still amazes me that this is possible. So there's no safety rails, there's no warning signs, there's no lifeguard, there's no fence. You have the responsibility to look after yourself, to go and use this facility with no guidance, no supervision whatsoever. I mean, the wetsuits were our addition. You can just rock up in a pair of shorts and jump from 14 meters into the sea. Just turn up, jump into the sea. It's down to you to look after yourself. This is really reflective of Danish society as a whole. If you've never had the chance to visit Denmark, I'd urge you to go and visit. Copenhagen is an amazing city. 
and you know, half of it's built like a giant playground and you see that everywhere in Denmark as well they're just experts in play playgrounds design architecture and when they put up something like this of course it looks beautiful and of course you know the yellow containers look absolutely striking so yeah more on this cool lens in the next week or two I hope you guys are well I think you have to demolish the like button and maybe subscribe and uh, yeah give me a shout in the comments below if you've anything to add Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.